Hi guys, my name is Beans. Welcome back um, to my YouTube channel. We're having fun. So today's topic is going to be about where do you start with your spirituality? A lot of people always ask, well, what do I do to become a witch? Where do I start? Where do I begin? Um, and they are very lost and confused. And I may not have all of the answers of where to start. Um, usually my first response is, okay, well, what what are you interested in? Where What are you trying to learn? Are you trying to learn how to be a better person? Are you trying to um, heal? Are you trying to become a better you? Or are are you more interested in herbs and crystals um, and those things? And usually I'm like, well, figure out what exactly it is you want to learn, you know, figure out what piques your interest and then start from there. But a lot of the times where you should also start is making sure that your head is in the right space. And what I mean by that is there are a couple of things that you probably want to keep in mind when you start everything. It's number one, don't burn yourself out. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself because it's so easy to number one, um, overwork yourself. You just get so excited with learning in new information that you're just consistently trying to take in new information. You're consistently trying to learn something new or do spells or get crystals um, or all of those things that you forget that you have to be kind and take care of yourself. You know, you forget that you need breaks. Um, and if you're consistently doing that, you're going to burn yourself out. And then there is a possibility that if you burn yourself out, you're never going to want to learn about this again. You know, you're going to suck the fun and the joy right out of it just because you went too hard for too long. So make sure you're doing thing, things in intervals. Make sure you're not working too hard. Make sure um, that you're bringing in balance into your life because balance is super important. And that goes for anything that you want to learn about. A couple of signs that you are getting burnt out or you're that you're overworking yourself is number one, anxiety, headaches. You start becoming really irritable. You start isolating yourself. You get a little bit depressed. Your body starts to ache. You start lacking energy. You feel exhausted all of the time. You feel off or um, you start to get really bad migraines or you have nausea. You know, your stomach is upset. You feel sick. And a lot of ways to help combat this exhaustion and this overworking is to literally take a break, rest. Um, you could do some grounding exercises, take a walk, go out in nature, but literally it says take a break, rest, um, go to your support systems. You know, if you enjoy spending time with people, your friends or family, go hang out with them for a little while. Another thing that's super helpful when you're getting started is positive self-talk. Um, you cannot manifest, you cannot create your own reality. You can't heal as a person if you don't start loving and valuing yourself. And that in itself can be really hard and it can be a lot to take in. But it is so important because that self-doubt, um, you being your own worst enemy, it will come to backfire. It will make your magic, it will make um, your desires less and not as powerful. So doing that, making sure that you are kind to yourself, that you're nurturing yourself, that you're taking care of yourself, super important when you wanna get started. And many people may not know this, but the way you talk to yourself, the way you treat yourself is directly linked to your spiritual and physical well-being. So the better you talk to yourself, the better you treat yourself, the, the better you are physically and the better you are mentally. And we all want to make sure that we are mentally stable and that physically we are well. Other things that I like to keep in mind before I really get started with anything is, are my needs being met? Do I have enough food? Do I have enough water? Um, do I have enough sleep? I like to do like just a basic check-in before I do anything. And this includes any kind of healing because you can't do adequate healing unless you've made sure that your basic needs are met. Like, do you have shelter? Do you feel safe? Because that is so important. Um, being grounded and centered, sometimes like you're 
what you need to make sure you're doing is making sure that you're feeling grounded and centered on a regular basis. Sometimes a lot of us are walking out there feeling very ungrounded, feeling very uncentered, feeling very chaotic. Um, and so sometimes our work is bringing in that stability and bringing in that groundingness um, and feeling a lot more safe and centered. And I feel like that should be a lot of where we start making sure that there is a baseline of stability there for us. And also feeling confident in our ability to create change. Most people, when they do this, it's either to better themselves, um, to better the world around them because they want to unlock the magic or the psychic abilities that they have inside themselves. And in order to do that, you have to believe in your power and your ability to create that change. So making sure that you believe in yourself is so important. Um, so those are just a couple of the places that I would recommend starting and that I think are in incredibly important when you're looking into spirituality or witchcraft um, are just unlocking your psychic abilities. So there you go, guys.